Thanks. This is the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. As we celebrate the feast of St. Lucy, patron of those who have eye problems, the first reading tells us of the prophet Bela. The Spirit of God came upon him, and he became one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured and with eyes unveiled. Nakikita niya ang katotohanan. In the Gospel, we are also confronted with the blindness of the Pharisees. By what authority are you doing these things? And then if they are the ones asked, they will say, we do not know. So Jesus told them in the Gospel, neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. Because several times, he already answered. Number one, told them, search scriptures. Foretold by the prophet. Isa lang, just one instance. When he wrote, wanted to kill the Messiah, he feared the Messiah as his rival. He called the scribes and the Pharisees, teachers of the law. <clears throat> what does scripture say? And they told him, he will be born in Bethlehem. It's in the scriptures. So if they searched the scriptures, they would not have remained blind. Secondly, Jesus also told them, look at the works. Isaiah prophesied that when the Messiah will come, blind shall see. How many blind people were cured of their blindness by the Lord? Miracles galore. But what did they ask him? They did not ask him, how, how are you able to do these things? How can you say all those sublime words? Ang tinanong nila, why are you curing people on the Sabbath? Blind. And if they were afraid to ask Jesus, tanungin niyo yung mga disciples. Because he gave them a share of his power. Ang yabang ano mga disciples, sabi, Lord, pagbalik. Even the demons are subject to us. We tell them, we exercise, we exercise the possessed people, and they live. But they were cautioned na wag maging mayaba. But it's there. You search the scriptures. You look at his deeds, the miracles, and his words. You ask those who were cured or his disciples. But they remained blind. They persisted in their unbelief. So we also should pray that the Spirit of us that the Spirit of God should come upon us as it did to the prophet Balaam. Kasi ang problema natin, hindi unbelief. Ang problema natin, under belief. Yung kakulangan ng pananampalataya. Kinikilala naman natin siya. Eh. Your Lord and Savior, you created the world, you saved us, you died on the cross. We believe. But it does not really set our hearts on fire because of our under-belief, kakulangan ng pananampalataya. Kaya we could not experience the joy. Yung sinabi sa gospel ka, kahapon, as first reading and second reading, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice, sabi ni Paul. 
sabi ng prophet, experience joy because the Lord is in your midst. Kulang yung joy natin. Our hearts are not really in, on fire because of our under-belief. So kulang ang ating well-being. Yung sense na hindi tayo basag-basag, hindi tayo watak-wata. Integrity, we become whole, sabi ni Father Chor Bernal SBD, psychotherapist, my doctorate in psychology. Ang daming pasyente. Il weeks before you could have an appointment. Anong sa anong pangalan ng office? St. Arnold Center for Integral Development. Such it. Okay? Kaya yun pag-usapan natin ngayon. Kung underbelief ka, you are suffering from underbelief. Kulang yung integrity mo, yung wholeness. Watak-watak ang pagkatao mo. Ano bang eh, sinasabi nila dapat kung well-being? You experience a sense of greater functional harmony. Mati, medyo malalim ang English. Pero yun, yun lang ibig sabihin. No? Buo ka. Kung hindi ka buo ngayon, o may kakulangan ang pagkabuo mo, under belief ang problema mo. Kahit ang tagal ka nang nagsisimba, kahit lagi kang nagkukumunyon, ngayon spiritual lang pero malapit na sana dinggin sana yung ating oratio imperata after the mass na mapalayas na ang COVID pero kahit napalayas yan kung under belief ka pa rin kung kulang ang pananampalataya mo kung hindi mo talaga tinatanggap yung spirit of God you will not experience a deep sense of greater functional harmony in your life Nagkakauntog-untog pa rin yung pag-iisip mo, yung feelings mo, yung gusto mo, your wants and your needs. Under belief. But when you really accept Christ fully, open yourself completely to the Holy Spirit, then, sabi ng St. Arnold Center for Integral Development, you will experience an increase to act with power and freedom. Yan ating pananampalataya. Ay, ang daming malulungkot ngayon sa daigdig. Ang daming hindi talaga kung, kung sa sasakyan pa nakasigunda. Kwarta sana yan. Fourth gear sana yan. Under belief. O nakasigunda, ang hina ng pag-usat, papunta sa Diyos. So pasalamat tayo, hindi tayo farisis. Hindi tayo total unbelief. We are not totally blind. Pero because of our underbelief, medyo malabo ang ating paningin. Wala tayo tayong well-being. Wala yung increase in the power and freedom to act according to what is good, what is true, what is beautiful. Yan ang ideal ng ating pananampalataya. <coughs> Pero okay na sa atin. Pasimba-simba dito. Pa-Christmas-Christmas doon. Tapos ah, Holy Week na naman. Hindi mo akalain. Bigla na lang. Good Friday na. So okay lang tayo. Pero ka, nakasigunda ka. Pagdasal natin ngayon, that we will be able to travel to God on fourth gear, full speed ahead because we do not suffer from underbelief. We accept Christ completely. His life will completely become our life and His mission will become completely our mission. Full, deep belief in Christ as Lord and Savior.